Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Rensi. Right now, I'm really bugging out right now. I'm really flipping out. And getting very frustrated and annoyed. I have no idea why. These people, you know, consider themselves business moguls when they don't even care. Um, you know why I say that? Because Barry Hankerson's one of those people who just don't care. Barry Hankerson don't care. You want to know why his sister Diane don't talk to him no more? Because you no, know, he he didn't care. His sister told him that, you know, Aaliyah don't want to be on the label no more. So he tried his best to make sure they could at least try to keep her on the label. You know, Aaliyah just wanted to, you know, try new things. Maybe she wanted to sign up with Bad Boy. Maybe she wanted to sign up with MJJ. Maybe those two, Bad Boy, MJJ, Tommy Boy. Maybe Pharrell, Star Trek. New America, you know, or could have signed up with Hollywood Records, but because Aaliyah was not only Mr. Hankerson's niece, she was his cash cow, so he tried everything in his power. That's that's what I think. You know, to you know. He was so careless, not knowing that she would die. Got a small friggin' plane. You know your niece is high maintenance. Come on, dude. But I understand, you know. When you have something that's working, you know, you just don't stop doing it. You know, you have a cash cow, you know. Every business has their little cash cow. So. Yeah. For example, ABC has America's Funniest Home Videos as a cash cow. NBC has Law and Order. Fox has The Simpsons. As badly, and I hate to say that Fox Fox, um, The Simpsons is Fox's cash cow. As badly as I wanted it canceled, I have to snap back to reality and say, no, it's never. They're never gonna like let that go. They ain't never gonna let Simpsons go. Oh. So, and you know, that's Fox's cash cow. CBS, you know, theirs would be the prices right, basically. And the CW is whose line is it anyway? That's their cash cow. Oh, yeah. That's their cash cow. The CW, um, whose line is it anyway? So since, so since Aaliyah was Black Round Records' cash cow and, you know, whatnot, that's when they started tanking after, you know, that's when they started tanking because Aaliyah was not only this, you know, amazing person, but she was really Black Round Records' cash cow. 
I mean, she could have signed up with Quest. Like, she really... She probably wanted to sign up with Bad Boy, though. With Bad Boy, Atlantic, well, who was still with Asta at the time. But, you think about it. Yeah. That was his cash cow. And he didn't care. And that's what annoys me about some of these people. They make the wrong choice and... That was, you know, that was his cash cow. I liked Aaliyah. I like her because, you know, I saw her with Quincy Jones, you know. That's why I first saw her. I started liking her. These businessmen, they just don't care. Mm hmm. Now the Black Round Records is no longer a thing. Maybe now they'll care. You know? Not just falling out with Miss Harton, you know? He hasn't spoken to his sister in 20 years. Good. Serves him right for not caring. I mean... If I had, you know, been so neglectful with my niece just because she was my cash cow, I'd be in a lot of trouble with Bree. Okay, it's a toy. I checked. I didn't want to step on that egg. Oh, shoot, I didn't know I was recording. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.